Government ministers are meeting today to decide whether to extend the coronavirus lockdown measures beyond three weeks. The Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, will chair the COBRA Emergency Committee this afternoon, while the Prime Minister remains in hospital with COVID-19. Boris Johnson spent his third night in intensive care at London St Thomas's Hospital. Downing Street say his condition is improving. Wales has already announced its lockdown will continue. We are beginning to see some evidence that this is working. So now is the time to stick the course with it. But we said at the time we announced that the Prime Minister said, of course, we review this on a rolling three-week basis. That's coming up next week and the determination will be made next week. And COBRA is meeting today to determine the exact process for doing it, the sort of evidence that they will, will consider. A police chief has warned his force will now be issuing fines and arresting people breaking lockdown rules. Northamptonshire Police Chief Constable Nick Adderley said a three-week grace period in the, country is, in the county is over. His comments come as Greater Manchester Police announced they had received reports of almost 500 house parties and 166 street parties between the end of March and the beginning of April. There's been a sharp fall in visits to accident and emergency departments amid the coronavirus outbreak, with a 50% drop in heart attack victims seeking help. Figures show A&E visits dropped by nearly a third last month compared with a year ago. It's prompted medical leaders to encourage the public to seek emergency help if they're experiencing heart attack symptoms to avoid more serious problems in the future. The lockdown could see wildflowers bloom in their best summer for years as councils stop mowing the size of the road. The UK has more than 310,000 miles of verges that have become a refuge for wildflowers. With coronavirus putting pressure on council services, non-essential activities such as spring mowing could fall by the wayside, providing a boost not just for wildflowers, but for a wide array of insects, birds and the mammals they support. And that's the news. We're back tonight at 7 and lunchtime tomorrow.